In this video, we'll do a quick demo of what Tableau is so you can see it in action in the event that you've never seen it before or you're completely new to business intelligent tools. Enjoy. All right, in this video, we're going to do a demonstration of what Tableau actually is. So a lot of you may already know what it is. Some of you may have never seen it before. Maybe some of you have just heard of it and you're curious. Some of you may have heard things like it's Excel on steroids, or it's like really easy visualization, or it's a really good deep dive tool or whatever it might be. So let me show you a quick demonstration. I'll try and keep it as simple as possible because, you know, being a data person and I get super excited, I tend to get carried away with things. So I'm going to try and restrain myself and we're going to start with the data. So let me show you the Excel data itself. Let me just fix this up. So really it's just a table, right? You've probably seen tables before where you have headings, you know, field headings, column headings, like so, and you have values underneath, okay? And it kind of goes on. And I think this data set's relatively small, about 1,000 rows, right? Um, and what we do is, to get it into Tableau, is we load it into Tableau. So Tableau doesn't actually take it from the other one. It doesn't stitch it together. Think of it as a layer on top of your Excel. So Excel's kind of like feeding into Tableau. And we can load up all sorts of data, not just Excel, but for now, we're just going to assume it only does Excel. So let's go into my downloads and I'm going to show you how quick it is to actually connect to your data set. This is the file we were just looking at and all I'm going to do is I'm going to click this, I'm going to drag it and I'm going to drop it. That's it. Now I'm going to get into this in a lot more detail once we get into the full training session um, and I'm going to explain every little thing so you know you won't miss a thing. For now all you need to know is we've loaded the data in and Tableau is looking into that file, okay? And when it looks into the file, you can see the same data in tables, all right? And if you scroll down, you see the whole thing, all right? So then what we do is we go, cool, Tableau can read the file, let's get into visualizing. So I'm gonna go into sheet one down here, let's click that. And what you'll notice straight away is these headings or these items here are really the headings of that data source. So let me show you, all right? So you got category, category, you've got order date, order date, and so on and so forth. And Tableau is actually already organized it into two separate groups. Oops, hang on, what did I move that? Two separate groups. The first, well, uh, the first group, the top group, is really anything that's not a number, anything that we don't do math off. The second one is anything we do do math off. Again, I'm gonna explain this in far more detail. But for example, let's say sales, and I want to see this value. If I double click this, it straight away gives me a bar chart, right? Because the way Tableau works is if you think of Excel, Excel has, you know, some, some data and then you have to clean it, process it. You have to restructure it. You've got to do pivot tables and all this kind of stuff to get a certain type of visualization. Tableau is a lot more flexible than that in that it can go straight from raw data into visualization. So it kind of skips that that data processing phase because it's you know a lot smarter. So for example, let's say I have my sales and I'm in a meeting. Okay, so let's pretend we're in a meeting and someone goes, cool Jed, that's our total sales, but I need to see it by category, right? You need to split that up. So what we can do is we can grab category and just double click. And what that's done is it's split up those three values by category. And they say, great. Then another manager goes, well, Jed, I really need to see it broken down further. I need to see it by subcategory. Well, all I can do is just double click, right? And there we have it. So I now have them split up. I'm just gonna make this a bit wider, make it easier to see. <clears throat> and then someone else is gonna go, well, Jed, I don't really like the color blue. It doesn't really make me feel good. Can you add some color? Okay, cool. Well, what we can do is let's color it by category. So I can grab category here again and simply drop it into color. There we go. And now we have some colors inside. And then someone's gonna go, well, Jed, you know, I wanna kind of split it up another way. I don't want it to be category and then broken down to subcategory. I wanna broke it down the other way so I can kind of compare the colors. So I can just rearrange this. Right? So now I can see them all separated, if that's what you want to see. We'll go back for now. So that is kind of the most basic thing you can do, but Tableau can do all sorts of other visualizations. So if I just click on this show me, I can say, show it to me in a packed bubble chart. Show it to me in a tree map. Show it to me in a scatter. Show it to me in another bar. 
or a, or a stacked bar. Show it to me in bar again or a pie chart, right? Well, this one wasn't ready for a pie chart, but let's have a look at heat map, right? Or icons or just back into table form. And it's so easy to be able to create different things. You can create, you know, let's say I wanted to do something over time, for example. In, ta uh, in Excel, what you would have to do is if you have multiple dates, you have to first pivot them so they don't exist in the same point. And then you'd have to um, aggregate the measure or the values to get you a, a total value for that date. Well, you don't have to do any of that in Tableau. In Tableau, I can just say over time, okay, I want to see the time, so we've got order date here, and show me the profit over time. So I can double click profit, right? I can see it right there. If I want it as a visualization, I can just move this one up here. So now we have it as a visualization. But maybe someone goes, Jed, year by year is not going to show me anything. I need to see it, you know, month by month. Easy. I can right click here and go month. Jed, I like it as a bar chart. Can you put profit underneath? Oh, not profit, sales. It's, it's really that simple. It's really that, and it's a lot of just drag and drop. And I've been able to teach people who are, you know, in their teens all the way into their 60s. So um, it is learnable because it is so intuitive and easy to use. We're going to cover a lot more of this in detail and in smaller steps so you guys can really follow along. But for now, that is the quick, dirty ha uh, demo for you guys to enjoy. Bye.